Hi everybody and today I'm here with Coach Campy from the OU Men's Basketball Program. Coach, first I want to thank you for being here today and then secondly I want to congratulate you on being the longest tenured Division I men's basketball coach. How did it feel? Feels like I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I've survived. I've, you know, everybody's fallen to the wayside and I'm still standing. So in a way it's kind of cool, but it's not something that you, I don't think it's something you aspire to be. I mean, I never even thought about it until a couple years ago when they started saying that I was third and behind the two Looking legends the that I was behind, you know, to I, I had Shashevsky and Beheim ahead of me and I have Izzo and Few right mm -hmm. behind me. And you're, you're, that's kind of like, oh, wow. You know, that, that's kind of cool. And I thought it was really good for Oakland yeah. because whenever we play on TV, especially on the national level, that, you know, they would put that tile up and Oakland is, the university is sandwiched in there between right. Duke and Syracuse and Michigan State. It's up there. Yeah, so, so that was really a good recruiting thing and a good thing for our university. Now that those two have gone away and I'm at the top, I'm not sure how <laughs> much people are going to pay attention. They're going to look at it, so who? You know? <laughs> I don't think so. You've had a lot of experience here. You were at Toledo before and throughout all your years of coaching and now going into 40 years here, what have you learned about yourself and how your coaching style may have changed over the, over the few years? Well, I think, you know, one of the things I tell people all the time is that I've been very fortunate in life that I've been able to grow as a person and as a coach as a university grew. And when I got here, Oakland was 10,000 students, only a few, you know, uh, dorms, only a few buildings around, and now it's this beautiful 20,000 students, close to 5,000 on campus. The, you walk through the student union, it's, you know, it's remarkable. Yeah. And so I got to grow as a person, as a coach with the school. Mm -hmm. And that, that's really kind of been a cool thing. And then, you know, I, I think anybody to last in this business, you have to change. Uh, uh, and, you have you to know, grow with it. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, changing, uh, is never easy for anybody, but to survive, you know, there, I have a sign in my office that says adapt or die. And I believe in that. Yeah, is that your, your own personal slogan then? Well, so I heard somebody say it, so I don't want to say it's mine. I stole it. <laughs> uh, but I re when I heard it, I went, wow, that's really good. And you really, if you were to walk in my office, you wouldn't, it's kind of hidden behind my computer where nobody, you know, it's not like, hey, look at this. Yeah. It's so. <laughs> When things are going hard or bad, and I've, you know, and I, and, you know, I'll slide that computer over and look at it just to remind myself, you know, that, that things aren't the same as they yeah. were in 1995 or something like that. And something like that brings you back, and it pulls you back into yourself as well. When, like you said, when things do go wrong. So looking at from the pioneer days to now the Golden Grizzly, the Golden Grizzly era, did you ever expect that this would be your forever home? Oh no, no, I didn't. You know, I, I, I'll never forget, Bob Nichols was the head coach at Toledo. I was 28 years old, um, and I think he knew I was very ambitious in that. So when I took the Oakland job, you know, the day I said goodbye to him to leave, he called me in his office and we talked, and the last thing he said to me is, give that school a chance. <laughs> don't stay, you know, don't go in there and, and get out in two years. And I'm like, well, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> he, uh, he's not alive any longer, but I think you know, he would be surprised to know that I made it to the, to the longest the one. Long, the yeah. long haul. And I know this might be a question that you're even thinking about yourself, but I know a lot of other people are thinking about it too. What's the future here? Are you planning on sticking around a couple more years? Well, I hope you're not thinking about it. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> normally that means, you know, they might want you to keep going. But uh, Well, that's what the school wants and the program wants too. Yeah, I, right now, I really love my guys. This, this past, the last two years, I've had just unbelievable kids and it's every day it's so much fun to come in mm -hmm. and, and they're, they're kids that want to get better and they want to grow and, and as long as I have that, I don't see an end in sight. I, I, I really, I, I'd like to hit 50 years now. Yeah. Ask me that in two years <laughs> and we'll see. But as I sit here today, I mean, I, I can't, I can see doing this another 10 years. Um, I'm sorry to some of the people that were hoping that I was going to say this is it, but no. you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, as long as I have, I'm a very competitive person and as long as that fire and that passion is there, um, you know, I'm going to keep doing this and I hope Oakland will let me keep doing it. Absolutely. And do you think that the athletes being 
coaching for such a long time. Do you think it's the athletes and the people that you work with that prevent you from burnout? I learned a long time ago when I, like I just said about when I first started, you know, ambitious and all that kind of stuff. And I, you know, it was kind of my way or the highway, <laughs> you know, I mean, if, if you talk to my early players, I mean, they come to games now and people think I'm crazy, but they'll tell you I've settled way down and I'm a lot different than I was I would down. have to say, I'm a little surprised <laughs> by that too. Yeah, if you talk to some of those guys from the 80s and 90s, they're, they're a little bit surprised how calm I am, mm -hmm. but... Uh, so, Calm. Yeah. <laughs> but back then, when I was, you know, I had this belief in these goals in life and everything. And then as I learned that as once you've had a little success and once you've been somewhere and the pride of being someplace and the pride of this university, I mean, to me, this university is my home. This university is everything about my professional life. Mm -hmm. um, I view myself as Oakland. And when you start to get that mindset what your thoughts kind of fall away and it becomes more what's best for the university what's best for these kids and if i can impact their lives and if i can do and help them become what's best for them and in this transfer portal day many of the young men that have left here have been a conversation that i think you know i don't think you're going to play as much as you would so you probably should if I'm your dad, I'm going to tell you, let's move here, you know. So yeah. I try and everything I'm doing in this day and age is more about the university and about the athlete. And if I'm successful with those two things, then we're going to be successful. I, I, clearly, very successful. You've had a great career here, and you've made quite the impact on a lot of people. So, I, again, I want to congratulate you and thank you for taking the time today. My pleasure. I mean, this this is a special university, and I, I mean, you're saying congratulations to me, but it's really I'm I've been lucky. Yeah. You know, I'm <laughs> lucky that the that my key still works in my door, and that you know <laughs> that they let me come here every day, and and I value that. Trust me, I really value that. You know that I've have a home here. Absolutely, and we're looking for another ten years, Coach. Making it to 50. <laughs> there you have it, guys. The longest tenured Division I men's basketball coach, Greg Campy.